welcome to my hiking show. I'm Kevin, and today I am in Griffith Park. I've been here a few times, but I'm up here at the Griffith Park Observatory today, and as you can see, it is spectacular. Now, a lot of people come up here for the view, but then some people come up here to look through the telescope to see the moon on a full moon. I have to be honest with you, I don't really know how those telescopes work. I really don't. Um, I mean, I think it would be easier to explain a pirate's telescope. That's just a sliding, like a lot of rolls of toilet paper that slide you know, inside each other and then probably um, a magnifying glass at the end. But don't, uh, don't quote me on that. Here's something exciting. Since we are in the Hollywood Hills and the observatory is right behind us, maybe we will see some stars on this trail, huh? See what I'm saying? All right, grab your binoculars, open up your map of the stars, and why don't we go take a hike? My hiking cohort today, over my left shoulder, if you might recognize her voice. You might hear her somewhere and go, where do I know that voice from? Well, that's her. She was also in a great movie called 13 Going on 30. You know her from Arrested Development, and currently she's on a really cool show on Hulu called Reboot. Yes, today we're hiking with the fabulous Judy Greer. Have you have here. you ever been up here before? Yeah, oh my god, I used to come here all the time you did? when I couldn't afford to go to exercise classes. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that uh, I stopped hiking when I started like doing stupid activities. Yeah. Like in rooms with people <laughs> screaming at me and screaming did, next to me. Did you ever do a step class? Of course, I've done every class. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like if there's a class, I have done it. I mean, I also, uh, I don't want to say this right now, hold on a second. Not currently, but I have had COVID twice and I've noticed a difference like in being like more out of breath and stuff. I know, we're also at altitude here. Really? We gotta be this at least 8,000 really? 8, feet, yeah. We're not at 8,000 feet. <laughs> I'm just checking to see if you knew your numbers. I only <laughs> know that because we bought, um, a COVID cabin up in the mountains. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's awesome. COVID so. cabins are cheaper, aren't they? Because they're riddled with COVID. <laughs> riddled. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was like really cheap because it was so sick. Um, and Big Bear? Yeah, like outside of it. Yeah, that's good COVID area up and there. That, <laughs> <laughs> they love it up there. They love to grow all the COVIDs. Um, yeah. yeah, so they, so we got this cabin and I would never know. I mean, I would believe you. Like two years ago, I would have been like, are we at 8,000? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how a telescope works? No. The, I think it works with mirrors. Yeah. I think it's a lot of mirrors. Yeah. Like, you know that mirror you have in that bathroom that magnifies? I Every don't four. have one of those, but yes, I know it because they have it in hotels. Yes. And I try to have it removed, but oftentimes it's attached. <laughs> well, I'm like, can you please clean out the mini bar and that mirror that makes me look uh, old as fuck? Uh, Sorry, oh. can I swear? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think that's how this telescope works. They take that big mirror from a bathroom uh -huh. and they fit it inside of that little long tube. And you look through that and there you go. There's the moon. Oh. I still don't understand it. Oh, this is a cute dog. Thanks. My husband always says that. I'm like, this guy is so pretty and he'll say thank you. Oh, is he um, God? Did you marry God? <laughs> the poop. If your dog poops there and you don't have a bag, then just kick it off the side. Well, I like these people. I don't like them, but <clears throat> I've noticed these people that bring the poop bag with them, the blue ones. Yeah. And oh, and like they leave them. It. They leave it there because they're going to say, I want to pick it up on, on the way back. Yes. Well, there's a lot of on the way back bags left uh, on the side of the trail. Yeah. This is so pretty. Thanks. You know why? Because of the rain. Yes, we had so much rain. Oh my God, it was so crazy. We were supposed to do this a week ago. I know. And it was going to be a slush factory. How are you in the rain? Do you mind the rain? No. I kind of like it. I like it here I like being it. down at night. You know? Oh, there was a bird with a some kind of. So you get distracted easily. Is that what oh. I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, yeah. there's a bird. Well, uh, oh, I there's just, a dog. I do like that dog. Uh, Dogs are. Yeah, I just saw there was some orange under the bird's wings, and I hadn't seen that. We like birds in our house. Yeah, yeah. Um, Have you ever been like shot on by a bird? Yes. Really? 
I mean, I'm like old. Of course I have. Do you not? <laughs> Probably on my shoulder. Uh, yeah, or I on my have. chest, actually. I know that I have, but I, I feel like it happened near the Santa Monica Pier. That's, they've had a lot of reports of that out there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the time of year for it. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that I don't have, like all my memories now are turning to fuzz, but um, I think I know be... why. <laughs> why? <laughs> oh no, don't say it. I think I know why. Because I've been naughty. Yeah. Are you a good driver, like in the rain and snow? Because I know you're from Detroit, right? Yes, I almost wore my Detroit sweatshirt today. Um, uh, I'm probably actually weirdly a better driver in the rain than regular because I know I have to pay closer attention. That's a good, that's a good point. Like, I think I focus up. Yeah. But when I'm regular driving, I'm like, what's that store? What's that coffee shop? That's a new restaurant. She took off morning. There's a rule you don't talk to people on the trail. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just my rule. Oh. You went to a Catholic high school. Nope. I went to public high school. And so, did you go to your prom? Yes, briefly. Oh, what, you got in a fight with a guy? <laughs> no, um, my best friend's date didn't have the stamina. For what? Um, I guess he had... He sucked up a lot of the helium and a lot of the balloons oh. and was kind of messed up and so we left. I need to go to the hospital. I well, we just went hospital. back to his house. But I did go to my prom. It was the only dance I went to in high school. And I made my own dress just like Molly Ringwald and Pretty in Pink. I stayed up all night sewing it. It was very cute. You tell me once you knit. You still knit? I was knitting this morning. No way. Yeah. Were you gonna knit a hiking outfit? I think I have body dysmorphia. Like, I think I'm, I think I think I'm smaller than I am. Cause I make these sweaters and I'm like, oh, it's really small. You're one of the tallest girls I've hiked with. Oh really? Yeah. That must make it easier. Cause where do you, do you have to hold it like, down. Sometimes, I haven't perfected that yet. Sometimes it's just the top of their head. <laughs> Depends on the girl I met. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? No, I don't. <laughs> There's like so many different kinds of trees in California. There's palm trees, but then upstate, there's like a tree I was listening to, I was listening about called Old Survivor. I think Sequoia. I'm such a bad listener. Or redwood. Now, are you talking to me or are you just talking to yourself now? <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> Would you say you're quirky? Uh, I don't think I am, but I've been defined as such. You have? Yes. You know, how would you define quirky? Um, I think when they say it in Hollywood, they mean someone who's not traditionally pretty, but some would still find attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and you, that's why you play a lot of supporting roles. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think you always do such a great job. And now, Finish Reboot? Your shot. How great is oh, that? Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I man. love Reboot. I People love, it. love that show. I hope so. Yeah. It's so fun to make. We have the best time. Steve Levitan is a genius. Yeah. And our cast is bananas. I don't yeah. even understand how they got Wait us all minute. together. The cast is bananas? They're all bananas. You're the only actor? The only one. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you are quirky. I was literally just gonna say, that's probably a quirky thing to say, right? That the yeah. cast is bananas. Yeah. But they're great. I love them. Judy, what's the most trouble you've ever gotten into? Oh God. Do you uh, have a police record? No, okay. not yet. Although I did go on a march with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. Ooh. Yes, about the Alaska pipeline, and I was hoping to get my first arrest. Oh, wait a minute. You're not for the Alaska pipeline. <laughs> anyway, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll get arrested and I'll have a record. And a mugshot, more important. Woo! Who's your favorite mugshot of? Oh, I don't know. I don't think of that that often. You don't? I'm always thinking about that. Really? Your favorite mugshot? Yeah, we have coasters at home of the different mugshots. Well, who's like, yours? Oh, probably Jim Morrison or Elvis Presley, Frank yeah. Sinatra, um, Macaulay Culkin. Oh. I mean, it goes on and on. Yep. <laughs> 
Hey, Ben Schwartz. Oh my God. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, come and talk. Oh. Man, that Ben Schwartz is really. really busy. Man, he is just not nice. He is not nice. Do you get recognized a lot, Judy? Uh, yeah. And do people know where they know you're from? No, never. Hi. Hey, how are you? Um, hey, how are you? And, yeah. Hey, how are you? Dog, hi, green. Are you, do you sing? Nope. How was your wedding? What it was the best day of my life. Was it really? Not yeah. So today is out. <laughs> Officially. Officially. Sorry. <laughs> was it a big wedding? Yeah, it wasn't supposed, it wasn't like huge, but it got a little bigger, but it was so fun. We oh, had so much fun. That's great. We got married here in LA at the Los Angeles Athletic Club downtown. I know that place. That's a great oh, place. So great. You work out before you get married, right? Yeah. That's I mean, awesome. I didn't, but yes, in theory, one could go swimming. I always like to do sit-ups between bows. Oh, how yeah. many times have you done bows? Uh, twice. <laughs> always. Oh, really? But I'm a, I'm a, a nice guy. I'm a minister now. You're not. That's a nice guy. Uh, yeah, from the Open Ministry, so I could have married you. Oh. I got mine on the internet. Thanks. 50 bucks. Does it work for all states or just California? You know what? I'm, I'm not sure. Can you be a doctor in different states? Oh. You know? No. Okay. I know you cannot. I actually don't know that, but I'm assuming you can't because I know you can't like be a nurse in different states. You, you can, can be, but you can't practice. Oh, <laughs> right. You know. Good point. You can be yeah. a nurse. You can be a nurse. You just can't nurse. Yeah. No. Nursing you could do in every state if you have a baby. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But whether you're allowed to do it in public or not, can that happen in every state? Oh, I think so. Cool. I think so. Although at the airports they have those little pods. Which piss me off. Right? You want to talk about this? You want to talk about this? I'm so annoyed by the pods. I was like, I would like a pod. I would like to sit in this tiny room all by myself until my plane takes off. Why couldn't you bring a doll to the airport and just go in there? Why can't I just go in the pod? It's not like there's a law that says, like, nobody but moms. Like, there's not a law. It's not like a state law or a federal law. Like, it does piss me off. Because I'm like, and if I was a mom with a little baby, I would 100% just sit in there. But I want to just sit in there. Yeah. Like, I just don't want to have to like sit around and like, it just seems so nice and cozy, though I have never been in one. My assumption is that it's private and it's quiet and you're out of the oh, hustle bustle. Oh, it's wonderful. I love can... it in there. You fit in? Uh, oh, I go all the time. I have a key. No, you don't. I do. Do you have to get a key? It's the pod key. It's the I breast key. Really? And the key chain of two breasts. <laughs> I mean, you could just get a coffee at like Einstein Bagels <laughs> and sit in the pod. Get there like two hours early before your flight. Drink your coffee, yeah, yeah. catch yeah, up on your email. Yeah. Relationship squad. Yeah. Now, you probably also like porta potties. No, no, not as into those. Really? You look like you're in really good shape. Are you working out? I am. Well, I have a, a trainer, a brand new trainer. You have a new trainer? Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, because I'm getting old and fat. Come <laughs> on. You're not getting old. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Judy Greer. Man, that was fun. Does it get any better than that? I don't know. I don't know. And by the way, I didn't think she was quirky. Do you think she's quirky? I think she maybe has some quirkness to her, but not a lot of quirkness. Not so that it would be quirky. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. Catch you next time. Happy trails.